Something I decided to do a while back is not compare film adaptation to another adaptation based on the same source material. For example, if you've seen my review of the new Haunted Mansion movie, you may or may not have noticed that I did not mention the 2003 adaptation of the ride at all. Why? For starters, I did not even think of that film once while watching it. And another reason was that since the filmmakers were not trying to remake that movie, but instead create a new film adaptation of the ride, it would not exactly be fair to them. I've applied the same approach to other film adaptations I reviewed in recent years. I've talked before about how I'm not a fan of the live-action Super Mario Bros. movie, and yet, when reviewing and praising the new animated film from this year, I did not bring it up once. I just did not find it necessary. What started this? Well, it has something to do with the reception that greeted Robert Zemeckis' adaptation of The Witches. When that film was released, I was looking at the reviews, and I cannot find a single one that judged the film on its own terms. Every single review felt the need to compare it to the adaptation of The Witches directed by Nicholas Rogue. Reviewers constantly wrote about how it was not as scary as that film, the characters were not as well written, the special effects were not as good, etc. Okay, fine, but what were the creative decisions Zemeckis made that worked and did not work in that film? I found it unfair that it was primarily judged on how it stacked up to Rogue's film. It was not a remake of that film, but rather an adaptation of Roald Dahl's book. Even putting Dahl's name in the title to remind people who created the story did nothing to stop people from incorrectly treating it like a remake. Plus, Robert Zemeckis is a director with different sensibilities and influences than Rogue, so I don't know why people expected or wanted him to take a similar approach to the story. I was lukewarm on the movie, but that was based on its own merits and flaws, rather than constantly feeling the need to compare it to the work of another filmmaker. So because of my frustrations with that, I vowed to no longer compare one film adaptation to another, although this was something I already found myself doing even before The Witches. When Andy Musichetti's adaptation of Stephen King's It was coming out, I made the decision to not watch the television miniseries from 1990. I not read the book either, and I wanted to look at the story through fresh eyes and not risk making comparisons to what Tommy Lee Wallace had directed many decades earlier. Did that choice result in me feeling more positive about the film? I don't know, although funnily enough, I've still not gone around to watching the miniseries. Although when I do, I'll probably judge that on its own terms, rather than compare it to Curry's take on Pennywise to Bill Skarsgård's. I think another reason I have this stance is that I genuinely believe every book should be adapted at least twice. It's always interesting to see how different filmmakers and writers approach adapting the same story. I remember when there were rumors that an unknown director was thinking about possibly making a new film version of The Princess Bride. This caused a massive outcry. Admittedly, I get it. I have a huge admiration for that movie, too. However, what most people seem to forget was that it was based on a book written by William Goldman. Why couldn't somebody do their own adaptation? Although that one would actually be tricky, as Rob Reiner's film is already extremely faithful to Goldman's book. I'm not entirely sure what somebody could do differently, aside from a different framing device. I do remember when Greta Gerwig's adaptation of Little Women was being released. There were questions of why there are already so many versions, with the 1994 adaptation being cited the most. And yet, in the end, Gerwig's film got great reviews and was a box office hit. Another well-received film adaptation of a book that had been earlier adapted was Dune. I admit to having a soft spot for the David Lynch film. But when I went to see Denis Villeneuve's adaptation, I did not think of the Lynch film once. The things I both liked and didn't care for in that movie were based on its own creative choices, not based on another movie that happened to be telling the same story. Now, if a film is remaking an earlier film, then I'm of course going to make comparisons, because the filmmakers trying to emulate and put their own spin on that original script. And yes, there are adaptations that are also remakes. The current crop of Disney remakes is an example. Guy Ritchie's Aladdin was remaking the Disney animated film more than it was doing another adaptation of the original tale. Although, unlike a lot of other people, I'm not too bothered if they deviate in certain ways from the animated film. It just depends on how it's executed. You even have a case like Mulan, where I did not even think of the animated film, as Nikki Caro mostly left it to do her own thing rather than copy what the Disney artists had done. So I did not miss the presence of Mushu the Dragon or Mulan's singing reflection as much as I liked those elements from the animated movie. I don't think the wisecracking dragon or musical numbers would have fit the approach they took with the story. So if you see me review a new film adaptation of a book or a ride or a video game, and you don't see me compare it with another adaptation of the same source, I hope you understand why I don't find it fair and necessary to do that.